On Monday, news broke that Scott Disick entered a rehab facility for substance abuse. But due to a leaked photo from inside the facility, Scott has checked out, is on his way home to Los Angeles and is suing. What's up you guys, it's Susan Morad here with Clever News and we just want to start off by sending our love and support to Scott Disick and his family. It's not always easy to admit you need help, especially when your entire life is in the public eye, so we just hope he's taking care of himself. And before we get into all the details of this story, I want to give a quick trigger warning because we will be talking about some heavy topics like rehab, mental health and substance abuse. So please only continue watching if you feel comfortable doing so. And we've linked some resources in the description in case you or someone you know needs them. All right, so here's what went down. Yesterday, news came out that Scott had checked himself into a luxury addiction treatment center in Colorado last week. While many news outlets originally reported that Scott was seeking help for substance abuse, more specifically alcohol and cocaine, Scott's lawyer cleared the air on that. At first, a source told E! News, quote, It's true. Scott checked in last week. He had a lot of guidance from Courtney and she demanded that he get help. Things have been bad the last couple of weeks and Courtney won't allow him around the kids unless he gets treatment. And in case you forgot, Scott has suffered with substance abuse in the past. He has been sober for the past couple of years after seeking treatment in 2017, when he was reportedly hospitalized on a psychiatric hold. And according to Us Weekly, after getting better, he started dating Sophia Ritchie and dedicated himself to a healthier lifestyle. So fans were obviously concerned to hear that Scott was back in rehab after being sober for about three years. But Scott's lawyer, Marty Singer, spoke out and confirmed he was there to work on past traumas due to his parents' deaths, not substance abuse. Marty said, quote, In an effort to finally come to terms and deal with the pain that Scott has been silently suffering for many years due to the sudden death of his mother, followed by the death of his father three months later, Scott made the decision to check himself into a rehab facility last week to work on his past traumas. He did not check in for any alcohol or cocaine abuse. And if you watched last Thursday's episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, you saw Scott confess that he still struggles to deal with losing both his parents within three months of each other. Scott was really close with his parents. His mum Bonnie passed away in 2013 after a long illness, and then his father Jeff died of unknown causes in 2014. So obviously Scott and his lawyer are both outraged by the leaked photo of him from inside the facility that surfaced on the internet. According to TMZ, Scott's team believes the photo was taken by a staff member and not a patient, and that could trigger criminal prosecution. They were also told that the photo was taken of Scott upon his check-in to the facility. As soon as Scott learned of the photo leak, he immediately called for a car to pick him up, and now he's left the facility. Scott's lawyer said they are suing, writing, quote, he has checked himself out and is immediately returning home. We are alarmed by this extreme invasion of privacy and plan to take immediate legal action. And fans on Twitter agree that if the facility leaked the photo, it would be a major HIPAA violation. In case you aren't familiar with HIPAA, it's a federal law that creates standards to protect sensitive patient health information from being disclosed without the patient's consent or knowledge. So this fan tweeted saying, quote, if they leak the photo, that's unacceptable and truly effed up. Another fan agreed, chiming in writing, they violated HIPAA. That's the least of it. They should lose their license to be able to practice. I don't care who he is. He has the right to seek help like anyone else. F this place. And another person added, quote, what the hell kind of facility would do that? They should be sued. And we agree with the fact that no matter who someone is, they deserve privacy, especially when it comes to private health information and seeking help. Many other fans on Twitter were curious how Scott ended up back in rehab in the first place. Like this fan who wrote, No shade at all, sending Scott Disick a lot of love. But does anyone know why he checked himself in? Like, was there a family intervention or was it his choice? And according to reports, it seems like it was a little bit of both. Scott eventually did check himself in, and according to E, it's been difficult for him to be cooped up inside while social distancing. He's been spiraling in his thoughts. Scott's girlfriend, Sophia, apparently first noticed his behavior, and a source says she was, quote, extremely concerned with the choices he was making and how out of control he became very quickly. So Sophia allegedly spoke to Scott's ex, Kourtney Kardashian, about the situation because she, quote, didn't know what else to do and Courtney gave him an ultimatum. The source said, quote, Courtney was very upset and she knew something was up by his unresponsiveness to matters and convos that pertain to the kids. 
She had been through this before many times and put a halt to it immediately. She ultimately gave him an ultimatum and he had no choice but to seek help. And while Scott is no longer in the facility, we truly hope that he's able to get to a healthier, happier place soon. Please feel free to send Scott and his family some love down in the comment section below. And if you want more on Scott, Courtney and Sophia, click right over here for another clever video. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye guys.